Hey yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best OP starter squad for FIFA 20. Um, will probably cost you around about 30 to 40k. Um, it will, might be pretty easy to get when you first start FIFA 20 due to division rivals, squad battles, or... Um, you can do um, you can get coins through a season objectives and just daily or weekly objectives pretty simple you can open packs and stuff like that get the players you possibly can get those players that I'm be using in this team you can probably pack them because there will be a chance of packing like players the that I'm using in this team so yeah I uh, hope you enjoy this video if you do drop a like and comment below what other videos you want me to do and if you're new around here subscribe and comment below what other videos you would like me to do so yeah Peace. And the first player we are obviously starting off with is the goalkeeper. We're going to start off with a um, pretty decent uh, Brazilian goalkeeper from Barcelona. He has just recently transferred to Barcelona this season after playing for Valencia. And uh, yeah, he goes by the name of Neto. Um, yeah, I've put Neto in goalkeeper. He's pretty decent, pretty tall, six foot three. He's got decent stats. He'll do the job. Um, he may be. A bit expensive at the start, so um, yeah, I'll would, I would just save most of my coins up for him because he is an 84 rated. And these aren't confirmed ratings, these are just ratings that I think they'll get. Um, so yeah, don't think that these are all confirmed by EA Sports, uh, EA Sports and yeah. So I've given him an 84 rated, and we're gonna start with the goalkeeper, with his, which is Neto. The next player is going to be uh, Lingley, Linglet, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll give him an 84 rated. He is a very OP centre back. I use him as a starter FIFA. Him and Gabriel Pelista, they were two of the most OP centre backs that I have used um, with the starter team, of course. So I gave him, I've given him uh, Linglet uh, uh, 84 rated for a gold card, and yeah, he will, he's got. Pretty alright stats, good defending, pretty quick for a six foot two, I believe. He's got decent stats. He may have alright passing stats and dribbling stats uh, if I if they do upgrade it in his those specific stats. So yeah, the next player is uh, uh, Ferland Mendy, uh, one of the most OP left backs I've used uh, by far on FIFA 19. I thought you would use him also in the starter squad since he may be an 81 to 83 rated. I've just given him an 82 because 82 rate may be cheap at the beginning of FIFA and you may be able to pack any player from this squad um, when you start FIFA. Maybe from Web App you may get free packs um, when you start or you can just save up the packs from like weekly objectives, season objectives, uh, the milestones, uh, etc. So yeah, I've given him an 82 rated, uh, 82 rated card for Mendy and he's going to be very OP because he's strong, alright defending and he's very quick and... Yeah, he's a four-star skiller, and he's got five-star weak foot, which is very good. Hopefully, that four-star skill gets upgraded to his five-star. That four-star gets upgraded to a five-star. Five-star, then we'll have five-star, five-star. The other center back is going to be Ida Meletayo. Uh, I haven't used his card. I may have used his team in the season in a foot drop, uh, but I have used his gold card previously uh, in FIFA due to... Um, draft and just objectives uh, to gr uh, grind the objective uh, using a full league. I must team and I've used them in uh, you know the, the starting team. So yeah, Di Matteo is a very good because he'll be quick, very quick, all right passing, very good uh, defending and physical, and he'll uh, just be just pretty decent. Uh, the next player is Raphael. I know he's a uh, 79 rated. He may be five foot ten, I believe. That's a decent for a right back, but I think he's going to be very OP. I think I used this card um, at the start of FIFA when I had built uh, one of my League One teams, and he was pretty good for me in general because he was on 10 cam, I believe, based around the players he was uh, linked up with. So, yeah, starting with the midfield, we are going with uh, Tim Way. I don't know how to say it, but I believe it's Tim Way uh, Bakayoko. Sorry if I pronounced his name wrong. I may have probably pronounced it way wrong than how it is. But uh, yeah, I've given him an, just staying the same rating as he was this year in FIFA 19. So yeah, I've just given him an 80 rated, and yeah, he's, he was pretty good last year in FIFA 18. I used him; he was very, very OP. Unfortunately, I never um, had to, I couldn't be able to get his footies card 
because I just wasn't playing the game after Fortnite had came out. Uh, had come out. I just straight away stopped playing FIFA and just played Fortnite. But yeah, I've used them at the start of FIFA 18 and it was very, very good for me. So hopefully it continues um, from FIFA 18 to FIFA 19 to FIFA 20. Hopefully it's still good this year, FIFA 20. The next one is Indombele. I previously, I just bought his card today actually. Um, my brother was on my account and he bought him for me. And yeah, he was very good. He's a force of I, Unfortunately, he's not that tall. I believe he's either 5'10 or 5'11. So he's pretty decent. He's quick. Um... Alright, passing and defending and dribbling and physical, but he really don't have the best shooting. He may be good for a CDM. So, yeah, I put him in uh, center, center mid. And uh, right center mid is uh, Fred. Now, I used Fred. He wasn't the strongest. Um, he did have four stars for most of week, but I did use him until I had gathered around enough coins to build a French, uh, like, League One hybrid team with other leagues. Um, but I used him at the beginning with Zaha and Kovacic in, t in my team with uh, Kyrie Dama, and they were a very strong, um, you know, link up and very hard because most of them were quick and um, some of them were strong like Zaha and Kyrie. Um, so yeah, I used Fred at the beginning of FIFA 19. It was pretty OP. Just his physical and his like passing and defensive stats were lacking. His dribbling was like 82. His pace was like. 79, but it was all right to be honest. I, as long as he had four skills, four star week for, and he was good in like midfield, and he was like having like a lot of like running run ups and stuff like that. Uh, that's all I was happy with. Now moving to the attack, we're gonna start with the left wing. We're gonna start with Bernard. Um, I believe now he's four star, four star. Hopefully he gets an upgrade to 81. I have seen a lot of photos on Twitter with people having uh, put together a starter team for FIFA 20, and I have seen Bernard in left wing. Or left mid, and they have usually just have upgraded his card from 80 to 81. I'm not sure if he's performed well this season. Hopefully he did. That's why I've just since I've seen photos from Twitter, I just you know thought maybe he has performed well. So I've just given him an 81 rated with decent stats, but obviously you can't see them. So yeah, the next player is Gabriel Jesus, uh, one of the most OP players that I've used two years back to back, and hopefully he continues to be OP. FIFA 20. FIFA 18 was the most OP striker I've used. FIFA 19 is alright. I didn't use him because I had used like Ben Yedda and Bleasman and them. So yeah, I've used um, Gabriel yeah, Jesus was alright. Sometimes when he was playing against me, I would get really pissed off because all he would do is just score. He was 5 foot 9 and I thought he was a lot taller. Um, uh, obviously, I was seeing his photos from like when they signed him and obviously how, how good his headers are. I usually thought he was taller than 6 4. Maybe he was 6 4. But yeah, I've just given him an 83 rated. I think he's just going to stay 83. And yeah, the next player is Nicolas Pepe. I believe he's the second player in FIFA with the most special cards. Uh, first was obviously uh, Virgil van Dijk. And then second was Nicolas Pepe. So yeah, I think he's given. Uh, he deserves an 83 rated. He should have pretty decent stats. Uh, I'm obviously going to buy him when he first comes out and hopefully put together this exact team. Um, obviously, these players, um, once again, aren't confirmed ratings. Maybe some of them are the day they come out. Maybe I just, I'll just i just look at them and say, oh, well, I got the rating correct. It was just a prediction and then uh, eventually um, came out to be true. So uh, for me, these are just predictions. We won't find out until next month, maybe a week or two before FIFA 20 is released. But until, until then... Um, yeah, I'll just be releasing more status teams. Um, whatever teams you would like me to do, just list the players um, all below, and I'll build a team for you in the next episode. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment. If you have anything to say, leave a comment, uh, leave it in the comment section below. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and uh, so for signing out. Peace.